Mark? What are you going to say? <laughs> I, uh, I thought I covered it. <laughs> Chrissy doesn't really like being on camera a whole lot. So, um... Alright, we're in the middle of something, dude. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, uh, we're just kidding, man. So, yeah, we're actually just sitting here waiting. We got uh, Danielle and, of course, Chrissy. Um, we're heading up to Balizage and then to another town called Marizon. And we're going to bring the last of our filtration systems. We got seven. There's four there. Three in the car that's coming to pick us up. We got a couple of boxes of rehydration salts, which are important, right? And uh, Chrissy came across real interesting. The thought of the day. You get that every day delivered to your email, I right? I do. Yeah, but this one seemed uh, particularly appropriate for today's mission. So, don't ask what the world needs. Ask what makes you come alive and go do it. Because what the world needs is people who have come alive. So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to do what makes us come alive. Yeah. What do you think of that, buddy? Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Something no. profound. So... All right, that's good. Yo, listen, <laughs> listen, listen. Okay, so what you want? I just want to say something. Just like, I like the way you just carry, you just come to help us up by color eyes. So it's very important to choose the water. So how's we going to do today? It's going to be better. So I like you, man, JC. I like the way you work, man. And I like Christy. It's very, very, very Awesome, dude. Let's do a little group hug here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There we go. We got to work right. together. Well, as you can see, uh, the flat tire is fixed. Um, doesn't sound like it's fixed. Doesn't look like it's fixed, but... It's fixed. It's apparently fixed now if we can only find gasoline. Yeah, we got to travel! <laughs> Here, what are we doing? So we're just waiting for the guys because the problem, the problem, the situation is very, it's very bad about guys. It's not easy to buy guys, you know. So now, just we are in the same situation. We still wait for the guys. All right, here we are, Chrissy. 12:20. How many hours have we been waiting? Five hours. Five hours. We were ready to leave at 7:15 this morning. Haven't even friggin' left town yet, mostly because the vehicle that we're in runs on propane, which sounds like a great idea in Port-au-Prince because the supply is supposedly more consistent. However, when you go to get your propane and the uh, propane store's distribution system is broken and they have to wait for a technician to come whenever he feels like coming, well, then it ceases to be efficient anymore. So, our entire process here is hamstrung by a propane technician. And now we're about to buy a belt. <laughs> no, no, see, no. So anyway, we'll get there and we'll get up into the mountains and uh, we'll knock this out. Just gonna have to obviously take a little bit of patience. All right, now the boys are pushing the car so we can move it to a new location. Well, the adventure continues. There we are. like we're doing some work on the tap tap now.
But here at your hospital, it would be good to show this is this is a place where they will come. Hopefully, eventually, here's some people with cholera. There is a solution. Now, what we're trying to do is to get that solution to people. Who want to how do you, how do you feel about being interviewed on video? Well, that's good because it's already happened. <laughs> but it's a, it's obviously it's a really serious event, and um, you know, we just want to get get some stuff done.